Alrighty, hello, hello. Well, hello there. Ah, bah, 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 bah. I forgot to turn on my stupid thingy. My finger's not working. Because I forgot to turn on one very important thing. When does he ever? Let's reboot that. This is in the right position, it's just a matter of I need my camera to work. It's not working. There we are. Well, hello there. Como estamos? Mina san. I hope you guys are doing well this evening. We're going to be doing some Star Rail tonight. If you missed earlier, some of you were here, but not all of you. Uh, we did a, a extra stream a little bit earlier doing, uh, what's it called? Some more uh, Blue Archive story. We got about halfway through, I think. Uh, volume 3, Chapter 4. Anyway, I got myself in and noticed that I had two little chat messages and I started laughing and that's why I'm starting slightly earlier than I usually do, just to get this done. Uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do is adjust the balance here because it's not in the right place. I do. And now it's even more disembodied than usually before. Uh, Star Rail. There we go. Beautiful. He'll be in the background, as per usual. Beck says hi, by the way. So, I started this and I stopped and there's still more. I think. We'll find out, considering. So I sent him these things. Found some strange items. Oh, not focused on it. Like, there we go. Relics, 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 relics. These are relics. Thanks. So what's a relic? Ah, okay. Well, I'm just going to say in general, because not everybody was going to be here. I didn't see Panda here earlier. A con construct made from a data stream. Many believe they're linked to the Stellarons and a Fragmentum phenomenon. What we refer to as relics are objects corroded by the Fragmentum whose data is saved in order to reconstruct. So what's a relic? You could consult Herta, she's an expert on relic research. You guys are so lazy! Huh? I got a new sticker pack. This looks just like me. Uh, it's not moving over. It's you. But I think this one looks more like you. Hmm. Hmm. Which one? I'm thinking Pouty or Teary. Let's see. Going with what we said earlier, and my favorite number being three, I'm gonna go with Angie. Oh god, Trex knows me too well. Why? <laughs> this is so not me! Okay. Hey, buddy. Take a look at this cat. This one's funnier. Disembodied voice coming in. So, there was Jersey. I got a new sticker pack. This looks just like me. It, it kind of is her, right? It is you. But I think this one looks more like you. Huh? What the? This is so not me. <laughs> oh my god. Using a sticker that you don't like is illegal, says the little guy. Uh. Illegal sticker usage means banning from the Star Express, right? That's how this goes? Hmm? I guess I got... Oh, that's the uh, dispatch stuff. Okay, okay, okay. 
I was so confused. I was like, what the hell just happened? Okay, so how do I do this again? down here for some reason. There we go. We'll send these two off again. And then... I'll just send her to... Why not? And we'll do that for now. The wisdom of the voice. Honor. Claim. And then where's the finger? Where can I get to like all the calyx again? Under navigation? No, that's where we just were. But there's still the the thing. I just want to go through that first. Yep, I recognized it instantly when some of the cutscenes that you were playing when I first watched you play it, Joe. goes here. Event? Nope, that just pops over my browser window, which I don't need right now. at least a, a different shortcut to it uh which one should i do character xp or bellabog nice guess i'll do Player XP. We'll do that. And then we can chat a little bit while that rolls. Challenge. Support. Up has a Numbi. Hey, Miko! I'm sure I can learn a lot from you. Oh, hey. I guess she knows Himiko and says I have Himiko in my party. Uh, oh, I got a. Hold on. There we go. We'll go with this because this at least is the uh, everybody in this party is got a strength against it. So let's just do it. Nice. Oh, and we discovered what causes, uh, her to spin spin checks last time we played. Essentially, so long as you hit it below, I forget if it was 50 or 25% uh, HP, it'll continue to trigger the, the thing. Yep. And it wasn't you who was asking, it must have been Panda. And you know why I didn't play either of those beforehand, nor started this earlier. Go 
go. And I've already mentioned my, my drawbacks with the fact that this is a very story-based RPG with certain characters that show up, but technically don't show up into your party, which is kind of like, okay, well... I feel like RPG shouldn't be a gotcha either, but yet here we are. Like story-based, let me be fair. RPGs in general, sure, fine. There's no problem with that. But story-based RPGs... I don't know, because then... You, like, like, we, like we were discussing the other day, you have the issue of... Um, what's it called? Uh, you know, certain characters are technically part of your group as the story progresses, but, you know, no, they're not here because you haven't got to them yet. And that feels very uncomfortable to me. Like, it made sense in the first zone, the, the Herda space station, when, uh... In the... what's her face? That we have now. And you have to gotcha them? That makes that even worse. That's why I kind of like the way that it's at least handled in... The... Particular gacha game that I that, that I regret more, obviously, than I'll be archived. Because you could be aware of these uh, students showing up, and in the story they kind of give them to you. I realized, Trex, I think I know why you said, um... Uh, why you thought I had a level 80 in my party when I really didn't. Because I think that in the story it just kind of, with the exception of, I believe, two separate battles, uh... You don't actually dig into your student pool, you actually just are given the students that are involved for that battle, which makes a lot of sense. And then, you know, obviously it's leveled appropriately. But you might have seen one of the students uh, during one of those sections playing level 80. And I feel like that would be useful here, like, okay, in this part of the game, here's a, you know, at proper level uh, use of, you know, these characters that are in your party. Because to me, the issue becomes... Let's even go back to Persona as we were kind of giving equivalencies earlier. It's like, um, for all the story beats, let's even just go back to Makoto's uh, dungeon, let's call it, even though it's not really hers. Um, you know, all the story beats are hers, she's there with the party and all this other jazz, but you still, have, you still can't use her in the party because you haven't got to her yet. Which makes no sense to me. Which is why, at least in the Persona Kaneshita, thank you. At least in uh, the Persona gacha that's coming out, they're, the only gacha you're getting are the Personas, which makes more sense than the characters. Like, if it was like the, the only thing that we were gachaing in this game were the light cones, then I'd be fine with it. Okay, I just don't have the best light cone for this particular character, this side or the other but they give you the characters as you go through the story. That would make more sense to me, and I wouldn't be lost. Well, not lost. I'm not lost, I'm just frustrated. Then you specifically have, uh, yeah, the Phantom X game. Uh, and then you have Himeko, who already mentioned that she was going to stay back on the ship, but decided to join the party anyway. Yeah, because they want you... This, and I get it, it's a business, I'm not gonna, you know, ra rag on them because it's a business decision, but because you get more money out of the players if you make them gotcha for everything, not just the weaponry, but the actual characters as well. But it would make more sense to me... Oh, you gotcha everything in Phantom X? I thought it would have been just the, uh, Personas. I know that that's the way it was in the, uh... Shin Megami Tensei DX2. That, that you just, uh... You, you just, uh, gotcha the demons. Right, Cho?
Oh, now you know that, uh, it's very clear that, um... Um... The Atlas was, yeah, SMT DX2 Liberation. But all you got you there were the demons, right? enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy with a margin of error of seven days. Is anybody else getting Mass Effect vibes from this guy? Like specifically, I'm thinking of the, uh... Oh, what were they called again? The Hive Mind uh, Machines. That attack Tally's homeworld. I don't mind that characters you have are required to be in the party, but when, like, in this case, you have a couple characters that are following that aren't in the party nor in your group. But, like, his face reminds me of the, uh,. Good lord, I can't remember. The Get. Thank you, The Get. I need to go back and finish playing the, uh, the remasters of, uh, Mass Effect. I, I have a lot of games to play. for summoning me is not the oaring question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? All right, it's not because of the vein, though. I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. In the event of no further variables. See, about that... I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and wildfire... They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Dude, this guy is... Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. Okay, spitting facts there. Absolute facts. As evidenced by their presence here. Svarog! We haven't settled our final score. Final score? Did we even start a score? Sila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. Yeah. The result of my Why the more Star Trek again? Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. Again. I wanted Sila. Results, I really want Sila, but I don't have her. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Mm. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Svarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. See about that. Scythe bait. Wait, she uses a scythe? Damn, I want her even more now. That looks stronger and more than the fashionably romance. dressed too. Hey, look at that! Uh, hey, is he about to March leave? agrees with you, Drex. The girl in red. We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills, 
don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it! Carefully. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't have the right party on. Oh, okay. It's fine. This is technically more story relevant anyway. It's fine. Don't hesitate. Don't tell me what to do. Do we need any shielding? No, we don't. Oh, I can retreat from battle. How? Ah, found it. The other team would probably be a little bit better. And then we go here. Team set up. Oh, this team set up only for the grind. Naval team. There we go. I noticed that it only lets you do that if you've seen it already, because it wasn't there. But that choice wasn't there before. Actually, hold on. Ready to lose yourself? Uh, dang it! I did that too early. Whatever. Fine. You can fight it or rock with it. Stay alert. Oh, them exploding also causes some uh, break damage. That's nice. Time for an overhaul. Ha! All right. This song's for you. Let's rock. You won't get away. And that only activates during break. Me for a second. Phew. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. The girl in red. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. How do you know that? I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. That's his voice sound familiar. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're Why just in his mouth move? It bothers me. We sent those pesky I know there's some cutscenes that, do, that don't have that, but considering Seela's mouth is moving, it's kind of quiet for a while. bothersome. And uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. It's 
been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. You know what this is reminding me of right now? Uh, with the fact that his mouth doesn't move? Freaking Mega Man Legends. There are some characters in there that don't move their mouths ever because they're only in minor cutscenes. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? We need to go to war. I, I completely forgot what we needed Wildfire for, but that's okay. <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Why is Sample even an option? Like, for real, though. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the underworld's grievances, young lady, but I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Nice and polite. Chad, I like it. Let's get back to the main topic. The I have other shit to, to say mind. about your mama, but you want to know what? Rock. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there because I'll let you go find out for yourself, lady. Huh? Isn't Sparog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? A sworn enemy. Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarag is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Which ends up, you know, calculations can only take you so Svarag far, my dude. is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. And he just walked away from us too, gosh dang it. Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. <laughs> And I love the fact that the over description of the word abominations of abundance. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Which technically means that he's actually giving her a compliment by so, by saying, you know, you look nothing like the abominations of abundance. Robots don't forget. If Sparog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... He just saw us, I'm not sure. It's difficult to say. That one I'm not sure, sure we about. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. How do you know? You guys are underground. Can you tell daylight from night time? Arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. I mean, that's fair. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. You know, in technicality, if I was playing a female, wouldn't I also count as a silver main girl? But he didn't look at a clock, okay? Don't stretch it too far. Ooh, hurt is hurting. Let me go recharge, because I see a thingy over there that I want to go get before we do anything. Circadian rhythm. 
But everybody has different circadian we rhythms, is the point. Let's try this. I took advantage of. Hold on. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. You won't get away. Time to twirl. Stay alert. Do you look at that AOE clear? All right. Pretty good crowd today. Nice. Come on, down. Let's make it quick. Okay. Okay, so it really doesn't matter which. Ice damage enemies. Okay. Oof. This song's for you. <laughs> you won't get away. Dear. Time for an overhaul. Ha! This is gonna get tight. Just are made to be broken. Ask for the damage to one enemy. That's what we want. Time to twirl. <sighs> At least I did that before the bleed came in. Whew. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. I have something for you. Pretty good crowd today. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Before she dies. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time for an overhaul. We knew that was coming, so that's why I put that out there before she died. We have a problem. That's it. The show must go on. Rip. Okay. My light cones are low. What? No. Okay. Really certain that I. Handle their light cones pretty high. Yeah, level 20, level 20. Ah, she's level 1. Okay, we gotta fix that. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I was able to do anything with her at the time. Could be. But it also could be the levels, considering. Name is Honor. What other pom pom has something? Just an average.
Do you feel lost when you're uh, belly traveling alone? Belly traveling alone on a journey of growth. Uh, sometimes it's wise to reach out and ask for standing scenes for advice. Oh, when you've been, not your belly. I was like, wait, what? We got a lot of side quest missions we can go and hit up. Let's go do the daily mission real quick. Eidolons. It's getting late. Where to now? Uh, where's this dude? That's so cool. I love the fact that I can still teleport up here and I don't get arrested. But that's fine. That's RPG jank that I can deal with. Are you trying to have a staring contest? Yes, I Wallace Cambridge Limestein. He's done from the failure. Not my fault. No other intentions. I just want to make true friends. Hmm, I admire your confidence. Okay, okay. The hotel, eh? So this friend of mine. Vernon. Oh, the good thing is I can actually come back here real quick to... He's there, but I want to go over here real quick. Because there were some things in the hotel corridor. Well, there was... We'll go into my hotel room? Really? That's kind of funny. You said that, Vernon. That doesn't tell me nothing, dude. Ah. There we are. I think that's a good one. Conrad? An actor, say. The name sounds familiar, Conrad Vernon, but it's not sticking to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's from Mass Effect. Is it that guy who's a fanboy of Shepard, if I remember correctly? I don't know how that came flooding back to my brain. That's one weird thing. I can't remember the name of the Geth, but I can remember who Conrad Vernon is. The heck? I assume that that was a... Uh... Don't be mean. La La Land. How do you perform in anything? <laughs> From who knows where? There's only one city. What the heck? I suppose it's a different district or something. He's a lime scene. People outside the theater industry might not understand that fans are hard to deal with, especially those that with lots of money and free time. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. If that's the case, I can't be friends with him. <laughs> I love how it starts that way. Why not? Doesn't that happen all the time where somebody who's got a rising star marries somebody else who's already famous and then all of a sudden you get even more famous as a result? Don't get me wrong. If it was about specifically, um, well, I want to, you know, make it big on my own merit, but she didn't say that. So. Oh, I see. You're trying to equip. It's not that the voice actor is the same. It's just an equivalence here. Wallace and Conrad. Gotcha. Are you trying to have a staring contest? Although, to be fair, he becomes more understanding about it real quick by comparison to Conrad, though. I gotta give him that much credit. Alright. Let's head up to the parlor car, because I think Pom Pom wants a word with me. That was my trailblaze level, right there. Some nice things, more tickets. Ooh. More relics. All right. What did you call me back for? Pom Pom is so clumsy and messes with people and keeps pressing the wrong thing. I'm back regularly to see Pom Pom face face change energy. I'm called you back for this, uh... Called you back this time for a very specific reason, or simple reason. Hmm, have you ever been confused or troubled on your journey of growth? I guess a little, there's so many things to remember. Uh, that, why, that's normal. Pom Pom remembers feeling similarly bewildered back in the day. I'd stay up all night gazing at the stars exploring. Uh, whoops. How did that sentence go again? Rats, Pom Pom completely blanked on what comes after. Anyway, it's great to see you continue growth in Anderson. Here's a reward. Quick, take it. How about what just happened to Pom Pom? Don't tell anyone. Let's just mind slip up. Okay. Drug and move on. I guess we'll head down here. It's getting late. Where to now? I always play this late enough that that's the only thing he says. Hold on. Flame. 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 Alright. The consumables. Stage in a simulated universe, which we haven't done yet. I take one photo. I clearly took a photo. We're gold in there. Got more thousand more credit. Wonderful. Just want to clear out some of this stuff. I hate having uh Before I can do a ten pull. Five more. Okay, wonderful. We only have five for this. Alright. Oh, I guess this is not terrible. This is not terrible. Alright. Where do I need to go? Over her. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. How do they know? I 
kind of dumb. That's not very polite. I mean, there are things that are grander in here than in the hotel. Oh, it's fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. How many people have been down here? A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish Goethe Hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, really? No. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. And big hands to help them achieve such things. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. I was getting so thrown off for a second there because he's got like the y'alls and all this other stuff and I'm like but it's sounding almost not quite British but somewhere in between but then I then it hit me it's almost by you is what it is it is the accent she's hit, trying to hit the voice actress and now I kind of hear hear it being more natural what do you think should we go ahead and call it a day or I'm tired <sighs> I want to do more to things rest again any surprises this time if not we'll have to go to the under underground that oleg he seems sincere what do you guys think i think many different things but i'm not sure if you care i will you know what he reserved actually bashing on uh on uh what's her face's mom even though he really probably could have and should have but you know he at least has at least enough respect for somebody who do he doesn't really know. That if she's feeling uncomfortable with it, to leave it alone. Well, give him as a good person. Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? <laughs> I love it whenever March tries to kind of like, do stuff like that. That's probably my favorite part of March. I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion... It's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> oh, anyone else sleepy? You know what? Me. You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. Bitch! Then it's an offer to start. What the hell? I'll keep watch. You're technically not part of our party, Branya. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. Uh, that doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Dressing Mike. There we go. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silvermane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silvermane Guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia... Oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. That doesn't mean a He's thing. He's like a man of his word. Go and rest. We just talked about that, though. We just literally talked about this. Ooh, another one. Papers. Papers, please. Papers, pens, and pots of black ink. Technology in the underworld might be outdated, but printing is a technique that remains as prevalent as ever. Perhaps this establishment offered to handwrite notes to give to customers as well. Hey, how you doing, tired? Uh, but this... Kind thought only manages to make reading more difficult for you. As you scan the polite, polite and pointless words, your eyes start to hurt. Finally, the most important part of the bottom of the page. Security, the owner warmly invites you to rate our services. Ah, grading session. Your favorite. 
you vaguely remember having this experience before, and you sit in the back. With you sitting in the back seat of a hover taxi. What? Why does he have any experiences? Didn't he just get born at the start of this thing? Uh, flying from one place to another. Probably the hover taxi doesn't chat with you for the whole ride. Not offering even the most cursory of greetings, but as you open the door to climb out, he suddenly says, Please give me a five star review. No, you won't. You are the embodiment of impartiality. You won't ever take pity on, uh, on a test of score of 49 and change it to a 50 for a pass. I strongly believe in good reviews are earned, not handed out. You look around this cheap room, the walls uh, wailing and seeing the cupboard trembling, and now you're the most impartial critic in the whole of the cosmos. Dear guests, please rate how comfortable the bed is in your hotel room. Uh, going into the, the hotel down in the underground at the moment. Neutral? Average. It's more than just average. It could be considered... It could even be used to consider, define the concept of average. I haven't drunk it yet, but I guess... Yeah, I'm satisfied. Best tea ever. If possible, you'd love to bring Donhang to sample the tea solely because you're convinced that someone does well with tea. Wow, that's a lot of assumptions about Don Hung, right? The lighting and view from the ho Okay, that's actually pretty good. As a well-known connoisseur of retro architecture, you find the Boulder Town street view to be very appealing. Coming up with original content is always a headache. Better to make it a multiple choice question. Mm. I'm always, when they add an extra thing, I usually just let, leave it blank. Discounts, what a beautiful word. Your friendly neighborhood nameless. Nice. What the heck is with these real world references right now? Uh Yeah, it's the underground of uh Bellabog. I think I just heard a toilet in the background. Hmm. Eh. My name doesn't do much. Yeah, no, I still need to go back and clip that because I literally was going off on hook with that. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get up, get a drink because I'm just like, Hook, I'm so cross at you for breaking the first rule of Fight Club and all this other jazz. I come back, sit down, click forward, and... It's right there. I need to go back to that um, that VOD and clip it again. I don't think it clipped. I'm done. I'm not doing that again. Let's see. The bed isn't very soft, but the room feels more homey than cold and fully decorated in the overworld hotel. Slip. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all?
More resistance is futile stuff. Okay. bothers me that he has a voice actor but doesn't voice act any of the lines that you you know tap on you know may as well go for a walk if i can't sleep and it would be like persona but the thing is that there's some cutscenes like that where he actually talks so it's just like um okay who goes there show yourself you're too on edge branya oh it's you don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. Then how are you protecting us if you're not armed but you're standing watch? <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been having nightmares recently. Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually... Seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? I'm not really. I'm being honest. I see. Well, thank you for being sincere. In itself, it's a comfort to me. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself, and it bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, uh, still... Orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Hmm. And then I'm reminded of Winter Schnee. Who followed orders blindly until it came to a breaking point. Though to be fair to Branya, I think this is far before whatever breaking point that Winter saw. What do you think, Sha? Who has seen Ruby alongside me? Hmm. Oh, I know that. That much I'm very much aware. But I'm thinking of it from the point of view of just soldiers in particular. Oh. So it says hi and then it disappears to go stream. <laughs> it's fine. Let me go with it. You had no choice. I mean, especially when, like you said, mother. That does make it a little more complicated. Need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty. To carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. For now, yet, anyway. So you focus the on your own stream. Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. Of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin hmm. without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. We'll help you. I wouldn't say to her to become Supreme Guardian, that seems like a, a, a step too far. Help change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I 
think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Oops. Oh, cool. I didn't select it yet. The world's more complicated than you think. Let's work together. Maybe we can make a change. You can't. Yeah, I'm going to say you can't save the world alone. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I. I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Well, what about standing guard? The other two are still in the... The other two are getting kidnapped, aren't they? I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? Not if he's knocked out. How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Nope. Sounds like we arrived just on time. Huh? Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? Just because she's here with me doesn't automatically mean that we're up to no good. We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else then. Oh. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Mm, yeah, we'll go with the more generic. But saying we're gonna help. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. Okay, hold on. Everybody's the protagonist in their own story. You need to just get that through your head right now. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. Why is that even an option? Get Sampo to acquire some. You know that's never gonna happen. Ever. What the heck? Are there other towns in the underground? The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. Okay. I don't know why you Do you were. want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. You said us like we're going to go. Like, People's I'm not going to go. Are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. 
Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> Saying that directly in front of her, come on. Her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. You, mean you didn't give that to Zila already? The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through that the mountains to the north from like a different game, but I'm not sure there. what it is. Out of metal plates and mm. bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. Ooh, yeah, that's important. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, right. also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch of stuff stored in the quick, old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing, rubbing alcohol. alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we can find if it. If we leave anyway. now, we can still make it back before sundown. This is another when one where this is a cutscene where their mouths pain, don't move. The sooner the better. And that's fine. I don't mind that that happens during particular cutscenes. It was just kind of distracting when only one character of everybody in the cutscene, their mouth wasn't moving. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, She's not the Silvermane any Guards, the Fragmentum yeah. must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Is it? Okay. Mailbox wants personal space. Right. Let's go to Rivet Town. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. You like this? Feels like there's plenty of people still around with the lights on and Way whatnot. over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. It's Natasha so said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. It says what? I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look Oi. down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Except for some things where we need to Let's go up there. Let's keep moving. Watch out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Careful. Enemies ahead. These aren't... Like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me. Dead. You won't get away. That was easy. The best is yet to come. Alrighty. Uh restaurant? 
<laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <laughs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. Oh boy. Come on, it's her time. Ooh. It don't exist. Just a doll. I'm just a doll. Leave me alone. Hey. That camera to the back. I like it. Let's go. Time to twirl. <laughs> Time for the main event. Mm, yeah, let's just blast. Done and done. That was worth it. How am I gonna get that time back? I want to hear all their uh, things from when they. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Let's see what else. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. What about poetry? I'm gonna get down there, looks like. More treasures, thank you. Actually, I just remembered something. Uh, characters. Relics. Oh, wait, hold on. Freeze. There we go. I wanted this on Trailblazer. Use the maximum damage that can be absorbed by the shield created by it. Oh, no. This is actually not that great for him at the moment. Although the HP does go up, so there's that and quick damage. So I guess I'll keep that there. But the uh, extra effect is not really that useful for him at the moment. And if you meant Eidolons from before their treks, I'm not sure how I get more of these particular things I need for them. So, yeah, I don't have enough of that for sure. I don't, I'm not going to be pulling enough to have any of that, really. If we're being absolutely honest. Mm. Uh, 
yeah, just simple target, just so we can build Let's some more. Quick. Nice and straightforward. Wonderful. One step closer to the stars. Investigate. Darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. Mm -hmm. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Mm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's How do you go smell then. dirt and understand? Need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Buzz. You won't get away. Time to twirl. I didn't even do anything, and I win. This layout is actually really cool. Oh, supposed to be a challenge. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Essentially, right? It's not that. Oops. Practice target. Level twenty-nine, eh? Hmm. See, she. Okay, fire and ice, which I have both of those plus normal. No lightning, but that's okay. Uh, let's just uh, heal target and then hit Y. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Ready to lose yourself? for the main event. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Oh. Uh-huh. Honored to meet me. Alright, we're from break, that's fine. I think the wind shear is going to fall off for every single one of them, so I wonder how this is going to work out. Either way. I have something for you. Oh no, the wind shear hasn't fallen off. So that's a problem. Let's make it quick. Yeah, that's a problem. Still don't humanity never conceals its just That's a problem. Heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's go. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Just been very bad luck with the way that some things have been rolling out. Like I was doing really well in that fight up until that point. How did the light come care? They're all level like 20 ish. Ugh. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not important. That kid wasn't there before, was he? Eric? Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you were 
worth a boss of me. Another kid that doesn't open their mouth. I know wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. <sighs> you took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Reminds me of somebody else in our party. How exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. What's the map? He's just a kid. Don't let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Uh, 200 shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? How much is 200 shield worth? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. <laughs> my daddy. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> hmm. Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. W what's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. It's gonna be funny when it actually is worth nothing, and she had no idea either. Obviously, it's not the case, but you know, that would be Thank hilarious. You. I. But you'll have to promise me one thing: you'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I. I promise I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> What if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Wow, man, Bronius is actually pretty... With the exception of the fact that she follows orders blindly, it's pretty inspirational overall. I like I it. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. Okay. Still need alcohol and, uh... Yeah. It's telling me to go this way, but there's... More to be found this way, which tells me... I smell some treasure. See, what did I tell you? This is also the reward of trailblazing. That's messing with the back end from this thing. Oh, and we just walked by a treasure too. I am freaking blind. <laughs> oh, how nice. And 
open up this side. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? Let me go this way. Let's go. Uh, no lightning. But let's just hit them all. I swear to God that Himeko freaking hurt us. Crazy AoE. You break them, Himeko kicks their butt. You bring them below 50%, Herta kicks their butt. You do both? Target this. Because yeah. I need uh, some more. Songs for you. Oh, and it pushes me back too. What the heck? Okay. I have something for you. I do like the fact that uh, Herta went connection lost. I have no way to break them, so it's not even worth. Like seriously, what else am I supposed to do to get some more levels? Because I don't have the... Hold on, maybe I do have the levels. Hold on. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize that I had, while I did ascend, I didn't have the max level. This is what I don't like about this system of having to push this in there for this kind of RPG. They should get it from battles just as much as from... Any more equilibrium, so I can't get any higher than 30 right now. So stay there, but the light comes. Don't have that. Okay, I can ascend this one. That's on Mecco, perfect. That can ascend. She's already up there. She's been kicked. But unfortunately, this one, <clears throat> I don't have the material required. Trace, trace rank. Ah. I don't have anything I can do for that right now. 
missing materials. Oh, but not for this one. This one. I know I didn't have that at some point, but now I do, okay. Let me do the traces for everybody. As much as possible, that way, no matter which, uh... See, there's so many different things to... Granted, I guess this is similar. Didn't complain too much. There's not, a uh, Anything that's different for Blue Archive, because traces... Is, like, skills... Um, yeah, no, everything's pretty similar. Oh, hold on. No, I want it done, hun. Oh, good. I was hoping that, that I'm not using Asta at all yet. Good. Just for the sake of it. I can't afford this stuff yet. Okay. And since that, uh, those other crew aren't part of the relics, okay. I'll leave it alone at that because they got a. 20 at least, and now my character's level is up to 20. Alrighty. E Let's give it another shot, shall we? Now we've leveled up a bit. Let's do it. Here to crash the party? I know this isn't the same one that I was fighting before, but it's still worth. Does that mean called Windbreaker? This song's for you. Only two people with wind shear this time, which is good, but <laughs> let's make it quick. Perhaps you still don't humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Honored to meet me. <laughs> you won't get away. Time for the main event. Yeah, the altar is kind of fun. <laughs> My only problem is that they come up so often, so the repetition of the lines gets a little annoying, but it's not absolutely, you know, terrible, you know? Survive. In the short for you. Let's go. Honored to meet me. Uh, uh. 
pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Time for an overhaul. <sighs> That's not good. Perhaps you humanity never can see us oh, as desire to the heavens, and I'm no exception. Steals physical damage to single enemy. Fine. Oof. That was close. What a pleasant surprise. I think we serve all. Hands. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. Yeah, two back. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. Blue revived. Now we can take on that other one. Because that one was a lot closer than the first one, to be fair. Go this way first. Goodness gracious. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. This isn't it. working very well either. If she keeps losing her turn, and I have no healer, so this is just not great at all. <laughs> Time for an overhaul. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Still don't under humanity never can see us its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. No, oh, is that just getting started? Uh, um, not that I'm absolutely maxed out, but the thing is, I have so little of that to work with. Okay, so I guess I'll just be back here later. Such a pain. Honor just came up.
Because I don't like pulling on things with that. Uh, unless it's something that'll get away from me. Because what if I need it later? It's just one of those things. Yeah. Because it's, it's something that basically Blue Archive has instilled in me. If you don't have enough of the usual, you're never going to get there. I'll deal with that later. Inshallah, there was a purple here. Just imagine when I really want it, you know, for a particular character and I don't have it. And then I'm sitting there like, ah, what have I done? Can't stop the run. Can't stop the run. So that's mid range. Okay. Nice to know. <laughs> Time for the main event. I guess I better just push it. Time to twirl. God, those heavier ones are so much more damage spongy than... Because look at how much I'm just tearing through the regular enemies. I think that they're just overly tuned, is my opinion on that. Because look at how much I rip through the regular ones. Like, no challenge whatsoever. It would make sense if there was somewhat of a challenge. Okay, that's gonna be a challenge over there. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs, they seem to have become more narrow. I know that those two are linked, I can tell. You won't get away. And that's what I figured, but the thing is, unless it's the boss, I mean, unless it's a boss, it doesn't need to be tuned that high. Looks good. And yeah, okay, it's guarding higher level treasure, then it doesn't need to be tuned at level, it needs to be tuned slightly, I don't know, it just feels so weird to struggle with those guys in front of the treasure chest. Almost there. But not here. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know... If we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum... See, but that, that's the difficulty I feel like I need from the bosses, not from mini-bosses, you know? <sighs> we made it! Hmm. It's been so... Hey! Where are you going? No! I want us to explore other areas first. Wow. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Look at the, how they made this thing. Run to this thing first. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. <sighs> no. No. <sighs> empty. How are they all empty? Who could have. Careful! Enemy behind you! Behind us? I've only 
seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal. Here to crash the party? <laughs> Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Huh? I'm gonna save that. Hold on. Let me adjust the team setup here. Its weakness was fire, wind, and then one that I don't have. So let us. Drops her ball. Let's go with Don Hung because I've leveled him up at least. Himako, you can leave any contingencies to me. Yeah. That's what I was feeling too. Oh, we gotta go up. have been sitting here for minutes. Now the fact that wind is his weakness right now too, so there is that. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's go. Honored to meet me. Right, we break this up. I'll save Herta's uh, EX until after the break. We didn't do much, but that's okay. She was just about to hit my EX on uh <laughs> That was it. Yep. Well she's done that a number of times already, but yeah, it's kind of ironic. <laughs> Penny was four against one. See, there's some of these things on the story I don't like, and this is why it's a little funky. Wouldn't have been so easy on your own though. You don't think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over 10 years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless before that. Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, 
I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. Interesting, interesting. Naru hodo ne. Okay, let me uh, back up for some heelsies. Go. And also. Let's swap that setup again. Bring Serval back. Hey, where are you going? I did. There's no way up. Oh, there's stuff over here. That wasn't here before. I will make mention. This. Here, take it. What is this? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid, Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a replacement of sorts. But didn't someone work hard to make this? I can't just take it from here. <sighs> you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. I wonder how she talks in Japanese. Considering how she keeps swapping from being a little bit more polite to being like, you sure are pretty, huh? Let's see if I can go this way now. Hey, where are you going? Nope. Okay. Is there something else here? Alrighty. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Mm... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Mm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Even when you were a child? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. I used to live here. Why does this story sound familiar? You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future... I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. Let's go with the check. The architect yeah. said that the guardian successor that is selected from sense. among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. Some of it is drippy, but some of them is it's it's gaudy. It depends on the character, really. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does not know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past, and thus. I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. 
but I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. Uh, what? What? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace okay. while you fuss I'm not like your Seal as a character. Problems. She looks awesome, probably and acts awesome, line, but oh my god. Even you who's putting their Girl, life in danger. Chill. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal or survive to the next week. Like if this was Kokoli, I'd say uh, it would be one thing, but this is not. This is someone who had no idea what was going on down here. So how could she have even tried to act in the first place? small glimmer of light in this world i must try my best to shine brightly for others didn't you say that well if you really want to protect everyone what are you standing here crying for get to it you're right you're right self-pity doesn't help solve anything thank you Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. It's the first part that I, was, I didn't quite agree with her tone. The second half, even if it was rougher, was actually very worth it. For sure. I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times. No problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? Uh, I, as the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage? Can I be the one responsible more? for this? Unlike you, my I'll take memories it. from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Let's go. Oh, here we found it. Thank you, Perkins. Don't mention it, Clara. Clara? Warning, warning, danger detected. I need no hand. Clara, initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. He... he's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Looking for medicine to help injured. Oh! I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Is Farak here too? No. Mr. Svarag, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparg when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. How old is Clara supposed to be at this point? I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparg doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. Let's 
Okay, why do you want to get involved? He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparog wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. But the yes. underground is safer? At least according to Mr. Sparag's calculations. Mm -hmm. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Sounds a lot like the Supreme Guardian. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag. The robot over on the left no side is really distracting. To him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So Absolutely, please trust man. me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. <gasps> Clara, what are you doing here? Seal, I'm talking. Miss Seela from Wildfire. Seela, please, no. I Okay, okay. I was gonna get all up in arms if, uh... Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So, I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. Oh, the politics of who wants to survive more than somebody else, right guys? Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Mm -hmm. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company, and I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Oh, there she goes. Special painkillers, eh? Can I open this up before I talk to Sila? Yes. and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Not from here, it looks like. Ghost from the past. Oh, something moving around up here. Aha. I wasn't crazy. Alright, knock it out. Let's go. See, that's the problem, is that this is too easy. Hello? Am I going a different way than I thought I was? Pretty good crowd today. Oh, 
Oh, that's done. Okay, that came out pretty. See how this stuff is just so much easier. It's no challenge, and then basically what I'm saying is there needs to be more of a middle ground. Huh? Toko. Toko, toko. Toko, 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 toko. That's the way back. No, I heard something, and I am not. Backtrack a little bit. Let's see what else we got here, shall we? That was four. But we know that there's another kid somewhere out here asking for assistance. there like a sound that, or honestly I didn't really hear it if I'm being honest but I did see the text I mean I guess I can always backtrack here it's not a big deal robots I don't already established that, so let's just head back, shall we, I suppose? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Well, we'll do that. We'll move along, shall we? Man. I just don't know what to say at this point. It's very... Straightforward. This thing was shinier and I was wondering if I could click on it. But I cannot. I cannot. So let's not do that. Let's just move along. Where are we going next? I'm hoping that wh whatever I quote unquote heard is actually further ahead of us. Nope. Whatever I heard was fake. It's getting I guess. Late. I can buy a Shadow of Destruction for use now, that's good. But that's like basically all I can afford. Where do I get all this money from? There you go. Exploring your Halo 6 and adventure missions. Okay. I guess I'll deal with this one. Destruction's idle on them. So that's me. Actually, hold on. We are wildfire. Is that? I have a feeling that's Mini Sila, huh? You know, this would be actually kind of cool if uh, it allowed you to bypass some of the uh, the gotcha by spending more money in the stores. A little bit more work to get some things done, but you know. That was a light cone, so that's not exactly what we're looking for. Eidolon. Unwilling host. 
Ooh, that's actually useful, yes. Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. What's up next? Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. Hmm. Punctual. So, did you find any usable supplies? We got distracted for a bit. I'm not sure how punctual we can be, but okay. Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. Wonderful. It's just there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? <sighs> Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. If Sila was right, she then she wants to look after the understand. I almost knocked right? over my glass. That would have been terrible. Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you made so the right see. decision. Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Will you, though? Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. I forgot to I'm say that sure they won't the mind. Rest. They seemed in good spirits. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Oh! We're leaving her? Okay, this makes... I know that you had mentioned... Uh, you guys had mentioned... That I got... Huh? Tired already? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. Oh, there's that. <laughs> it's happening. You're gonna have to step it up, you know? My record is six days, no shut-eye. That's not healthy. But, okay. Anyway, but, um... It makes a little less sense with the fact that we just said, Okay, we're gonna leave you behind, and then she gives it to you. You, you, you get her. Alright, let's level her up. Because she's gonna need it. Level up. Send. <laughs> A doctor never stops learning. He's not wrong. Can't descend right now. The light cone. Don't have anything really strong. Only some three stars, but that's okay. Uh, what are we looking for? Outgoing healing increases by 12% when wearing that. So the battle immediately generates six energy for all allies. After wearer uses their basic attack, the next action will be advanced forward by 12%. I think I'll go with the uh, the healing super room position here. Then... Here. 
And then let's do a team setup here. As useful as Serval, Serval was, I think I really need a, a healer. Like really, oh, he's technically, eh, might be better just to keep uh, Trailblazer, huh? Oh, I should actually get her traces up too. Where should I put her then? Should I put her in place of Serval or should I put her in place of Trailblazer? Probably Serval. That'll probably be the better play. So when you guys yell at me about what the hell am I doing with that team set up. There you all at. Uh, hey, they're finally back. Sorry for the unannounced experience. <laughs> nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. That's not exactly anything to be proud of, March. And that's something to be proud of. Okay, my record remains unbroken. <laughs> calling out something the game's gonna give him together. right afterwards. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kakolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Wonderful. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. We need to find a way to bring him to our side. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We it should would. make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice. And I don't want to risk underworld lives. I understand that Things piece at least. Changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarok. No good. I may right? not have the full picture. But perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. <sighs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. What about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarok. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the underworld is still a part of Belabok. If Svarog's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarok. What will Wildfire be doing? Wildfire's relationship with Svarok has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. 
Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. I thought having any wildfire would actually be just... Oh no, I have a message from Sampo. Okay, what do you want, Sampo? I love the fact that both of these answers are exactly how I feel. And if I don't, sorry, your message could not be sent. Please try again later. And if I don't... What makes... what? I'm not a... Mm, I'm not a patron of you. Uh, and all, what's that supposed to mean? Allow me to give you a tutorial on how to send me, uh, how to send money. <laughs> oh. oh, this is hilarious. I'll go, who are you again instead? So we got two companion missions. Alright. Okay, well first things first, let's actually head back up to the uh star rail just so I can get some more of the trailblazer stuff. Why does that middle uh, light cone look like Bibu? It totally looks like Koseki Biju's there, what the heck? bought one that means I can get two Eidolons in one shot skill level two level plus two up to a maximum of 15 talent level two up to a maximum of 15 okay so now I can actually choice isn't as elusive as it seems now I can actually do uh, what's it called the trace is a lot higher if I wanted to welcome back Trex Hmm. Oh, plus two, I see. Then I get plus two. I guess I'll do this one. Oh, I need ascension level two for these. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, there's only one other destruction, which is not really worthwhile. Alright, I'll leave that as such. missions to knock out. Let's just start here. Nice. I mean, I'm almost there too, because I bought one and then I just got one from my Trailblazer level up. And I got Natasha, so that's done. Yeah, I got the Boulder Town one. Oh, yeah, that's why I picked up Natasha, and I put her in place of 
uh, for now, just because uh, Himeko Herta is such a good combo. I dropped uh, Serval for now. As much as I'd like Serval. But we've already seen a number of times that it's not exactly a great idea for me to. Uh, Oh wait, that means I can go on here and go down? Yee. But this isn't where I need to be, is it? These guys are level 24, so I might as well. What the heck is up with her gun? Okay. Well. This is our chance. Hey Panda, how you doing? Cool, cool. Yeah, if I pulled more, I probably could. Racing? I'm confused. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. But let's, uh... Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Let's make it quick. The music's pretty good, yeah. I'm, I'm more of a fan of like rock and what we got out of, uh, what's it called? Uh, Blue Archives, but you know, with the, the peppy step stuff. That side praise coming from Utrex, considering how obsessed you are, you are with Persona. Yep. Is that all? Okay, so that's that. Yes, you were. We're totally seeing things. Mm -hmm. okay, now we're here. Okay, I can handle that. I just need to make sure that I get up to him without being seen. Oops. I thought I could do the same thing as usual. But I could do that. I got her on the five, the the guaranteed five pull. But I didn't have her before. Naughty 
child. Hmm. How appropriate. Okay, so. Just a, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Much obliged. Let's make it quick. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. That's what we've discovered. Because. Uh, Herta's spinning uh, time to twirl comes whenever you get an enemy under 50% and based and obviously Himeko comes from whenever you break them so you break them and get them under 50% and you go pra pra <laughs> and it's real fast Turns in a row there. The heck? Time for a shot. Whatever. Time for an overhaul. Ha! Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Honored to meet me. Yeah, we'll tight. Let me make sure Herta doesn't. Uh, not not Herta, sorry. Himeko doesn't get hurt there. My only issue is that I got rid of Serval, so the lightning weakness that he's got, I can't take advantage of right now. Is this? Yeah, it's minor it's damage. You won't get away. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Yeah, that's what I figured would. That's why I was holding on to Himeko's ult. These will last us a long time. I just realized that she has a giant teddy bear behind her. I thought it was just part of her ult, but nope. Nope. You can't see me. I'm gone. I'm invisible. Oh, uh, what? Wait, what? Time for a shot. The heck is that? What are those? Let, let me rephrase that. I recognize it if only just because, uh, what's the name of the, the one character I borrow for, for, for speedrunning the, uh, the dailies, the golden. That's the only reason I recognize it, but otherwise, what is that thing? So I do want to kill it quickly, even though it looks like it's afraid of me. Is that right? Am I right with that? That I want to kill it despite? Seems I've been waiting a while. Look, game, I don't need you to judge my 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 choices here. Right, I'll attack it then. Oh, I had accidentally hit. That's okay.
Good, I got it. We're done there. Done and done. How am I going to get that time back? Oh. Hey. All right. Time for an overhaul. Rules are made to be broken. I know I'm in an uh, under level. This time, I kind of more understand that I'm in an under leveled area, so it's not. I'm not exactly, you know, worried about the fact that I'm so overpowered compared to the last area we were in. Hold on a second here. Oh, they do? Then my Kachik from earlier still stands. Here we go, Lost Daughter. If everything scales, then my critique for earlier from earlier definitely still stands. Hold on, I need I don't remember where I was going to go. It was uh, checking my... We'll talk to him in a second, but this... Behind me. Oh well, I have a... Further teleport point, which is fine. Hey. Yeah, basically, uh, I found a lot of the trash cans, but not all of them, I don't think. I definitely took a break from that I from for short you. term since I'm working on progressing the story now. Time for an over. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Uh, we got How the. How am I gonna get that time back? The uh, supplies, and we're on our way. Technically, I'm doing side quests, but we're trying to go see Sparag. I have something for you. Wonderful. Yeah, the the thing I was saying about before though with uh, me having an issue with the level scaling is not the scaling itself, it's more the difficult fights that are in front of treasure chests are overly difficult, I think. Okay. Only come to me when you need help. You think I'm a robot? Put it, uh, there are some minor accidents in the mining, minor accidents in the mining area. You know, it's like, it's all chaos. And the mining tools I bought at a high price were lost, and I was furious. Coincidentally, not long ago, 
Customer ordered a set of equipment from me. Well, I'd like to go look for it myself, but the situation, yada yada yada. Okay. That sounds like a fraud. If it's real, then you know where the treasure's at, but that's okay. stuff I love that the uh, the trailblazer treats sample the way I already feel comfortable treating sample Customized pink armor thing. It's very. I have to go back to sample for every single one of these, by the way. Wait, the pickaxe was right next to him? Peak, though. Not only that, you need to use double check. All right, take him. Did this isn't a fake. right here, right? Give or take. I was thinking you could take on me. No, I don't think I could take on you. That's why I was running away. I have to head down anyway, so there's that. would be behind me a little bit. Wait, is that the treasure that I already got or? Sorry, I was looking at this thing, not my player character, not the player character model. Okay, hold on. There we go. I'm attacking somebody else. You can't attack me when I'm attacking somebody else. That's the rules. Here. 
gas mask. That little dick weasel. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe I fell for your tricks again. I can't sleep without my money equipment, what? Saved you twice, Peak. You and I, like, I am still so disappointed that I got him out of a gotcha. I really am tired of his butt. I'm not gonna waste any more time on trying to bring him up as it is. you now. You lie to me again. Yeah, but the thing is I have, uh, what's it called? I have, uh, done hung. Yeah, same. And now it's looking where I was looking already. there in the corner. Okay, yeah. Not great, but not terrible, so I'll take it. Okay, with that, let's, uh... Should I be holding on to my Stellar Jade or should I be continuing to pull, I wonder? As much as I said I wanted to keep it, it's, but it's like... Some of these other characters is just like, I want them too. Why is Asta in both of these? Four more days, I should probably wait it up, because to get the, uh... Okay, so I get another free five-star, even from here. If I do 500 pulls here, or 300 pulls here. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's what I was thinking myself. I do like Silverwood, but Silver Wolf by de her design is one of my favorites. But again, with the the banner ending in a couple days, I'm not even sure it's worth the uh, the I 
I just know she has a drill hair in the back. Is she related to Branya by any chance? Yeah, it's true, but again. How many pulls do I need to do to get a guarantee? Oh, okay, that makes sense then. That makes sense. Panda. They were based off previous characters and just... Uh, messages... Candy, what are you doing? You're the one talking to me. Pitch dark, hook the grades at me. Ninety pulls, which means nine ten pulls. Do I have enough for nine ten pulls? I didn't think so. Interesting. A young little master of disguise. <laughs> I, Julian of a thousand faces. Wait, it's not the time for this. We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron. And she refused to let anyone go with her. I feel like she's doing something dangerous. You have to go check on her for us. Is there any limited characters, uh, out of curiosity, that basically only show up when the banner shows up? As of yet, I know this is too new, maybe that doesn't... Either that'll never be a thing, because there's a different kind of gotcha from the, uh, Blue Archive that I played. Oh, so the five stars never show up unless there's the banners? Yeah, that's what uh, Panda was just saying, the supporter coming on the 27th. Fursman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, she even took her Diggertron. Is she preparing for a fight with the vagrants? Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. He's Hook's daddy. He's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Thank you. Uh, please. I'm ready. Let's go handle that. Okay, so let's go back to the pools just so we can get a sense of what we're talking about. So basically, the only five stars that I can pull from this normal one are these guys, right? So basically, the only ones that I can get that aren't a duplicate at this point are Yang, Branya. I'm forgetting some of these names already. Gepard, Clara. Don't know these two yet, so I'll have to go in here. Yan King. And Bailu. Those are the only five stars I can get. Otherwise, I have to. So basically, if I don't get Silver Wolf now, I won't get her again until she shows up on a banner again. So technically, this is worse than <laughs> Blue Archive in that respect. Because they do have limited banners, but those are not all the three stars. Yeah, of course, as per usual. They have to do that by law. I 
I love how it says drop rate out of five star entities. It's a 50% out of five stars though. Wait a minute. But if she's the only five star in the banner. Oh, I get it. So it's. I guess that's what's confusing to me. It's a 50% of being Silver Wolf. But what's the other 50% if she's the only five star in the banner? Everybody else is a four star. sense that makes sense I don't like it but it makes sense the four stars are the same in both of these banners the five stars are what's different yeah Ugh. I need 800. 800 for a 10 pull, and if I get not a 30 pull, it's 30 10 pulls, right? Is what we're getting at? Ooh. This is ridiculous. They do allow you to trial out the character. But not the one that's for the story in specific, it's just, you're the ones that are on the... On the banner. Oh, I guess it makes sense from a... Perspective of, we need to make the monies. Anyway, um... Yeah, remind me if it's 30 temples and whatnot, I need to go charge my watch real quick. I'll be right back. Nobody answered my question. At least not more recently. <laughs> that basically, um, to get guaranteed Silver Wolf, let's use that as the example, right? It's not technically 30 pulls, but 30 10 pulls. Or am I just mixing the uh, the open pool with the the banner pools? Ninety pools, but ninety pools, not ninety ten pools, right? There was a way to guarantee, not guarantee that, and that's not the word I was looking for. Sh for it to tell me what that is in specific. Let's see, because we got the yada 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 yada. There it is, yeah. Within 90 warps, at least one star, five star character. So technically, it's not 90 that's the guaranteed. 
for specifically for for Silver Wolf, obviously, it's 180. Because it's 90 to guarantee a five star, and then if you don't have Silver Wolf, then you're gonna need another 90 to get Silver Wolf. I mean, that's what I'm getting from the, the text here. It says here, uh, during the event, the base chance of detaining a five-star character is 0.6%. Uh, the consolidated chance, including guarantee, is 1.6%. With, within 90 warps, at least one five-star uh, character is guaranteed. Yeah, well, that's what I'm getting at, is that basically, if I have bad luck, I'm looking at the absolute worst-case scenario. Absolutely worst-case scenario. You can't, uh, but according to the boosted rate, you can't lose you uh, lose it more than once because it says right here the boosted rate underneath. If uh, the first time you obtain the five star character in this warp event, there's a fifty percent chance it will be the promotional character in this case, Silver Wolf. Uh, if the five st first five stars character you obtain in the warp event is not the promotional character, then the next five star you obtain is guaranteed to be the promotional character. So you can't lose it more than once unless you're rolling on different banners. That's what I, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, multiple copies, for sure. If you, I'm assuming if you're rolling on different banners, then yeah, you could fail multiple times. So that means at absolute worst, and the, uh, again, being very clear, at absolute worst, it's 180 pulls before you can guarantee the banner. Mm, it's not that bad. Blue Archives is slightly better because it's, uh, what is it? 200 pulls. Yeah, it's 200 pulls. And Blue Archive is 200 pulls, but you're guaranteed to select one of any of the banners, which is nice. That's the one thing that I'm liking about the Blue Archive pulls now. <laughs> I thought that that was actually kind of shitty, but this is showing that it's about the same. 180 and... That guarantees it. The other one's 200, and it guarantees it. The only thing that makes it one better is the fact that you can select it from any of the banners available. Alright. I am having enough fun that I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of money on this. I'm not going to go in as deep as I've heard other people going into Genshin, especially. Let's see. How much cash is that? Is it for a 10 pull out of curiosity? So here we are. Uh, looking at this. How many oneric shards would it be for a 10 pull? Or is there not an oneric shard for a 10 pull? I just... Embers in Starlight? Where dost thou purchase such things? Sixteen hundred jade. Yeah, it'll be less because, yeah, I have five golden tickets already. But to, to your point, Panda, a 10 pull without any currently owned tickets would be 1600 Jade. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. But I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how much. Am I, I'm. The... Okay, Starlight Exchange. So where do I buy the starlight? 
and the embers direct yeah yeah I can see this is the only play, place where I would spend cash but then what do I do with the shards then to then I guess convert it to embers or whatever for the temples is it basically how do I get to the point where I spend actual cash money to get more pulls this is just for future reference I'm not going to do it tonight especially Okay, so let's see. In the Oneric pouch, we go here. It just put me around in a circle at the moment. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I have to go to the, the shard. The one shard for one jade. So then basically I need, since it's one to one, to get a 10 pull, I need to spend 30 bucks. Okay. It'll obviously leave me with extra, but points still stand that I need to spend 30 bucks. These contract shops, I assume? How useful is the uh, Express Supply Pass, out of curiosity, since it gives you... I guess what? Yeah, okay, it tells me, it tells me there. 27,000 seller jades over 30 days. And 300 doneric charge, which can then add to that to give you literally 30, uh, 3,000 stellar jades. Right now I'm not getting on every day, but yeah. That's actually kind of reminded me of uh, something that they do sell in, in Blue Archive that I've done. And it's about as... It's a little less expensive, because it's 10 bucks, I think, across. Two different things. All right, let's just continue and do this uh, little story bit here. So where is? It? Oh, it's all the way in that corner. Oh, cool. We uh, I got this, so we're good. Look on the side in the exchange thing. Hold on. Which side are we looking at? I guess which exchange? Because you said exchange thing. There's at least two of them. Starlight and embers. Both the starlight and embers. Okay. And yeah, I can see that what else is being spent on is some other in, uh, skill slash level increasing. Things, right? So those are the two choices here. I can buy all five, which would then give me a free ten pull on. But is it worth pulling on Silver Fox if I'm not gonna be pulling at least 90 to guarantee a five star? Yeah, I get that, but now the question is, is it worth to do it? Because it's only one ten pull. I'm going to continue here, but you guys debate it in the chat for me real quick, and then I'll follow up in a second.
treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <sighs> well, nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brutes! Don't bully my daddy! <laughs> oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. <sighs> it's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passing through Hook. Uh, let's go. I'm here. Everybody stop. Is it that? Another punching bag? Fine by Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, these guys. I feel bad for these guys right now. <laughs> All I had to do was one EX and they explode. Daddy! Are you hurt? Uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? I mean, it's probably me. a way that they only have to pay no a certain number me. of people instead of a lot of different ones, right? Good. <laughs> That's good. And you, young man, are you hurt? Thank you for your help. I barely felt the thing. Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. It's the no conflicts big deal. between the vagrants and the mining team have lasted for quite a long time. Even if you have just uh, temporarily mitigated our rather tense relationship, it is greatly appreciated. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching. Oh, Otherwise, boy. Otherwise, I might never see it again. Oh, boy. It's just a tool. I answered without thinking, but that's okay. That's it? Herta, you really need to chill. Herta, you must chill. I think I can shortcut through here. Wait, is that a giant one? Gotcha. That is piggy. Okay, so they're basically... It's basically the same, just on the overworld, yeah? completed the map in here. 
I see. I never did the zigzag, but I probably got close enough to fill the area. Alright, at least I get a total of the maps here. Let's uh, head here to finish that up. How do I, I guess the only other question I would have, is there any other, um, how do I get more embers and, or, you know, basically the other stuff that count towards the temple stuff? Is I've that just from daily stuff I'm running short that I'm not paying attention to? These days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves. And ask him. Boss See? is always right. You are gonna spoil that kid. He deserves it. Ah, that's enough for now. Okay. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Ooh. Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. If it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. What happened exactly? <sighs> well, a few days ago, I found a geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, mm -hmm. those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. Uh -oh. I'm just too old for this. Looks looks like she's thinking, and I don't like that. Whenever she thinks, she comes up with ideas, and those are dangerous. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. Uh, who knows how long I can stay by your side? If you're that I old that you're about to grow... For your future. Man, you've got a lot of vigor for having, you know, given, well, obviously you're not the one who gave birth, but obviously you still gave enough to have Hook, so that's amazing. Unless, you know, this is another adopted situation. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will I know, have right? the money Despite to being take care of yourself years. and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. Someone stole it? I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Well, anyway, I guess I don't need to detect her anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look like... I want to talk to you outside the clinic now. Oh, man. This voice actor is amazing. The fact that he could actually make it sound like Hook with his voice. So good. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. Cause that sounded almost like Hook. Like, I always give credit to voice actors who have to play a certain character, faking being another character. That's impressive. Wait! Hook needs you to help with something. Leave it to me. I haven't said what we're gonna do, but that's 
Mr. Spirit, you truly are an honorary member of the moles. That detector is Daddy's treasure, so I gotta get it back. You'll help me, won't you? As long as you behave right, yourself. Then. I'll be waiting for you at the shelter in the mine, big brother. Honey Chan. I mean, uh, What should I say here? Should I say... Got it? Or what did you just call me? That's what you think? Well, the little guy agrees with you, Trek, so let's go. See ya! All she did was ditch me! All she did was ditch me! Asley just didn't even acknowledge. It was just like, nope, I'm gone. Bye. Too slow, honorary member of the moles. <laughs> you should have gotten here before Hook. I really should have. I teleported. How the heck did I not? <laughs> Let me introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. Uh, except for the couple that I beat the heck out of, but sure, we'll go with that. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. Hmm. We searched all around the shelter but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. No one was yes. at the shelter at the time. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. They all claim to not have stolen anything. I mean, that's a good first step. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. There can't be more than one? Doesn't seem likely. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Ugh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. Right. Oh, this is the shelter. I thought I had to go to a different building. Okay. So, you, buddy. You were the first one I saw. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. Let's see. What were you I'm doing? I'm a cook. Then? What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? No. It's just that I happen to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? That old Furzman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. Anyway, he found that Geomero vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Fursman I knew. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman... I'll tell you a secret. Mm -hmm. The helper over there, I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? That means you were here.
you saw him sneaking out of Bursman's tent, but that means you were here, not looking for supplies. Huh? You might be friending him. <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Right now, he's the most suspicious. As it stands right now. Taylor, he said helper. So let's go in order here. Okay, that's the helper. I just want to see what this one's name is. Merchant. The helper. You were seen. Look. What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. Well, I just, just need you to answer box. a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. You already sounds a little bit more trustworthy, but... Get rid of your exes, boys. What were you doing Nothing in the camera special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Well, that means there's very little corroborating. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. Mr. Mr. Firstman. He's a good person. Though... No. Oh, it... Uh, never mind. Mm -hmm. No, no, oh no. I must sound very suspicious, but I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? They come away for the news. Oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Definitely didn't help. Lots of X's for the doubt. But by the same token, the fact that, again, he said he was off, the cook said he was off shopping for, for food supplies, but saw him coming out with the box in his hand from Furman's tent. Hmm. Lots to think about. Let's check this guy. Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. Don't get upset. You it's know a what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. For the merchant? I could see it. Uh, well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. I have the right to remain silent. You're not in the United States. What right do you have? I withhold my opinion toward this question. Oh, wow. Okay. No comment. Oh, you... I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. You little brat. Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me. Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Uh, you know what? Deal. I need more information. I like your style. Customers who don't fuss over the price are the best. So what do you want to know? Ask away. I went into town to restock. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis, everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. Fersman is an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geo Marrow vein, it was kind of unethical. We're all neighbors. We've known uh, each kind other of unethical, says the guy who's literally, sold out to the other you side know, left his twisting my arm to, to get an answer. I really can't agree with that. Definitely the thief. I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. Why are you so In sure? In my line of work, I've learned to read people. 
and something's definitely fishy with that cook. I can tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. All right, next up. Or last up, I suppose, is the tailor. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Mm, spacing out. Didn't notice anything. Good man. But a bit of a cheapskate. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. I know. Okay, with that in mind. Hook's head is spinning. Do you remember everything they said? Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Like I said, I feel like it's the cook based upon the information that we have, but by the same token... No, I think everything po points to the, um, the cook, because the cook, again, said that he saw the helper come out of the tent when he was gone. His alibi was that he was gone, right? At the time, going to buy things. The, the helper is suspicious in that he has a very lame alibi and very, and still very closed off, but I think it's just because he's nervous, you know? You, sometimes that happens to innocent people just as much as guilty people. You know, the tailor feels the the least out of all of them, just because she's just like, uh, you know. Mm -mm. And then uh, the only other person I think, it, like, basically, if I had to put them in tiers on most guilty to least guilty, uh, at the starting from the bottom, I think it's the tailor, then the helper, then the merchant, then the cook. The merchant's still a little shady, but. Again, he, if he if he values his reputation that much, that I could then ruin his reputation by saying this guy lied to me, you know. And he's not wrong in that a merchant would need their reputation to continue selling goods. If you don't have a reputation as a good merchant. So yeah, let's, uh, you know what, let me ask. Also, well, what do you think? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. Cook and I are on the same level tells here. Me the one of them is the culprit. Basically, we, we, we just played uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and asked for a 50-50, and she narrowed it down to those two. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, pitch dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. Yeah, like I said, I think it's the cook. Because, again, the merchant has no, not necessarily any reason to lie here, because it actually reflects badly on him. But the cook has every reason to lie, especially to offload it onto the helper. Like, I think he knows that the helper specifically is panicking and is just like, he looks super guilty, I'll just offload it onto him. I'll go with the cook. Hmm. Well, I don't know why, but I'll trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit. Plus, he was very, very defensive. I mean, so was the merchant, but at least the merchant was willing to talk with us over it, you know? Huh. 
So he's fleeing from justice, huh? I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Why is there an option to say the Sampo is innocent? <laughs> all the time we keep, you know, looking at Sampo and going like, Oh god, this guy. And all of a sudden we're like, no, he's gotta be innocent. What changed our mind all of a sudden? There's nothing here that tells me that we should trust him in any way, shape, or form. I don't think I... I think it's that literally uh, the cook is just using him for a fence. And basically, Sampo's innocent in the fact that he was not part of this plan. But he will be used as, you know, a fence for the goods. So basically, he, you know, unintentionally becomes a criminal on this. So I'll just say he's trouble on legs. It's either the cook or Sampo. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'll just say he's trouble on I love the implication there that Hook sees Sampo hanging out with Miss Tatasha all the time and thinks that the her first thought is, oh man, he must be like a really sick guy. But really, there's the other, uh, <laughs> she's just too young to understand the other reason why he would be hanging around her all the time. Hello. My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell nice. me. Nice. Good job, Drex. You two stop right there. Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived. <laughs> I love the fact that <laughs> the Trailblazer has the same pose as, as Hook. It's so cute. Oh, her hat's the best part of her outfit. Her outfit is super busy. I'm not a big fan of it overall. But that hat has got to be the one thing that stays if there was to be a redesign for Hook. Yeah, I'm going to point out just the thief here. Oh, boy. I knew it was too good to be true. I, I got to make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please don't point that thing at me. It's scary. <laughs> how is he even a character to fight with? He's such a freaking coward. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. Why does that sound super intimidating? I thought she's. I'm like sitting here like, oh man, that just sounds super intimidating. I'm just scared now. This, this is all that old Bursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um, first come, first well, serve. It seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. That's no reason for you to steal it. What kind of a reason are you looking for? With the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? Good question, Sampo. Do you have something to, to add to this? Anyway, I got the device now. Guess you want to do this the hard way. Digger try! Get ready. I wish I had hooks just so I could do this fight with Hook. But unfortunately, I have something for you.
Ah, nice and easy. <laughs> you sure talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Huh? Oh, Daddy's treasure! It's broken! Hey! Now this is Servo's time to shine. Why are you still here? What? God the damn it, the game still! The game why what The Breeze luck is back. Rex, you know you know this just as much as Show does. I say something like a second before the game decides to acknowledge the same exact thing. This is just my freaking luck. Of course. I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Normally you would. Listen here. There's a fellow in Bouldertown they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. That sounds like it's from experience. I don't like this idea. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the Miner Slamp. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. No, look, please. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip. Sampo, we will speak about this later. You're not supposed to be... Influencing young people to do such things. Mm -hmm. Again, why did I have to actually pull him? It's getting late. I mean, knowing me, I will eventually pull him so long as I continue playing the game. But why did it have to be like my second or third pull? I want it to be the last pull. I know, right? Announcement, what announcement? Compared to what other four star that you you have left to get. Praising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure. Oh, look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let he looks me take a closer look. He sounds older than he looks, let me tell you. Uh. Oh, yes! Look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device. I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? Mm, can I the your detector's opinion? probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. So that's why you were saying Big Sad. It just it took you so long to get her, rather than Big Sad that that was the last one you got. I'm willing to offer a generous price. Oh. Not baiting and switch. Why is she all glowed up?
Uh-huh. Let's go in the birds down. Are you looking for me? I don't know anything about minecarts. Okay. Those are gonna give try. Alright, so for now, let's go see Daddy. Hey. just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt-baked rock crabs for you. <sighs> What's wrong with this kid? It's your kid. You found the detector. detector? The one I lost? Big Brother and the Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that stole it. But... Daddy's detector... is broken. It's all my fault. I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. Uh, you're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Um, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But Daddy's treasure. <laughs> Don't cry, Hook. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. It was never lost or broken. <laughs> It is adorable treasure indeed. <laughs> Even you know what it is? The detector helped me find lots of Geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Uh, doesn't really understand. She would be too young to understand. <laughs> it's okay. This guy's good. I'm the flemminess of his voice shows a lot of strange, things. But you will understand someday. So, the treasure daddy's talking about is still happily running and jumping around. Daddy, you you're not allowed to see her cry. Go away. Alrighty. So that's done. Let's actually do a pull. At least one pull. One pull won't hurt us. Maybe I could just do... You know. One pull. That's it. And so far, so good. But at the very least, very interesting. Okay, so we wanted... Yeah, the five here. Now we can ten pull. Here. Everybody cross your fingers. Your toes. Your eyes. Everything. Here we go.
Nope. Let's see if I get a good four star. Nope. Uh try. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred times eight. I don't even use Asta though, that's my problem. <laughs> That's 12,000, and I don't have 12,000 yet. With four days left, I'm not sure if this is worthwhile to continue pulling beyond that. Fine, but I'm recommended here. So much for having better stuff. Hmm. I'm almost done with uh, Trailblazer's Eidolons. Hold on. Uh, my light cone. What does this do? Attack? Okay, it's attack stuff, so no. This is fine that I keep it on. Yeah, because it's a destruction. Never mind. It's not the uh, element, it's something else entirely. Ah, uh, Sag. Big Sag. Okay. Well, we will leave it at that for now. At least I haven't spent any money quite yet on this while well, I'm still trying to feel my way through. And we will end it there for tonight. Mm. Depending on uh, what me and the ladies are doing tomorrow, I may do a midday stream or not, but we'll definitely do the evening stream. We'll be doing... I should probably go back to Spider-Man just because I have a lot of fun with that. But also, I need to catch up with... Mm. I know what I'll do, I'll, I, or I have an idea of what I want to pull off here. But either way, we'll figure things out as we go. Uh, tomorrow will probably be Spider-Man for sure, just to keep that in the schedule, or else I'm going to get my, you know, fall off that bandwagon and never get any of this done. And then, um, yeah, that'll be that for now. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. You've all been 10 out of 10 with me. Thank you guys for guiding me through what I don't know. <laughs> I can figure out what I do know. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for some more stream fun. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever it is that you are. <laughs>